So today is Tuesday, May the 22nd, and I just got off of work. It is about to be 7 o'clock, and I worked late today. I normally get off at 5, uh, but I had a lot of stuff to take care of, so I went ahead and just stayed late. And it's super humid in El Paso today because yesterday it rained like freaking crazy. Like, it was a hailstorm at my house. And I'm over here thinking that the all the windows are going to break in my house because I have a lot of windows in my house. And we have a sunroof in our kitchen and it sounded crazy with all the hail because uh, it did hail too it wasn't just rain yeah so that's what's going on um right now i'm driving home and my birthday is coming up next month in june it's june 19th i will be 25 i'm so excited I personally love birthdays. A lot of people think that I hear a lot of negative things about birthdays. Like, oh my god, you're another year older. But I'm actually really enjoying my 20s. And hey, I'm already going to be 25. So I think that's pretty cool, you know. I just love looking forward to my birthdays. So that's why I'm super excited I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I honestly want to go to a baseball game and not get too crazy my birthday falls on a Tuesday and then the weekend before my birthday I never like to get crazy anyway because the weekend before my birthday is actually Father's Day is on Sunday so I just don't like to get crazy anyway and this glare is fabulous hold on but yeah anyway so I'm super excited for my birthday but yeah I never go out the weekend of my birthday it's or if I do like I won't stay out you know super late or you know I just like to be well rested of course since it's Father's Day and uh, sometimes my birthday uh, it happened let me see did it happen last year no I think it was the year before my birthday fell on Father's Day and then it fell on Father's Day in 2011 so uh, yeah that's pretty cool but um my sister's birthday she turns 21 a week after my birthday so I know that's about to be like you know super lit because it's gonna be her 21st and yeah it's about to get crazy so I'm super excited uh, this year for my birthday and uh, we're four years apart, so I mean, that'll be cool. I'm gonna be 25, she's gonna be 21, whatever. But, um, yeah. I'm probably gonna go get some food right now with my mom and my sister. I don't know where we're gonna go, but we'll probably get something. Neon Desert is this weekend. If well, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's like a, it's a music festival. And I didn't want to go at first just because I'm not really, I mean, Little Wayne's coming. Cardi B was supposed to go, but she's preggers. So obviously like she canceled or whatever. Um, I'm not really that hyped about the people who are going. Uh, the last time I went to Neon was a couple of years ago because Future came and for those of you who don't know Future is and one for me that is my dude and I only bought tickets for him literally I didn't I didn't really want to see I didn't want to see anybody else Migos also performed that year and I was like yeah I mean uh, 
but like when Future came out, I I blew my sister's ears out. Obviously it was loud because of everybody else that was like super hyped up too, but I was super fucking excited. I screamed so loud. What the fuck is this car doing? Move out of my way. I don't know why, but like lately I pass by my house or like I'm going to my house and then like there's cars passing by and like they give me a weird look or they're like blocking my driveway and I'm like, excuse me, you don't even live around here. Like, what are you doing? Where's my sister? My sister's not here. Stay. You stay. It is Wednesday, May the what are we? The twenty third? Yeah, twenty third. I'm tired. I don't want to go to sleep. I don't want to go to work. Story of my life. I'm ready. <laughs> it's funny how primer makes such a difference. There's sometimes, especially during the week when I'm going to work, I will forget to put on primer. And then I'm like, oh, no biggie. You know, whatever. But then by 2, 3 in the afternoon, especially with this heat, I'll be like, don't forget primer tomorrow, Tiana. Don't. You can see it in my eyes. If it is mine, why do I feel this way? Why does she stay on my mind? If it is mine. I want to get a new foundation. I just don't know what to get. If y'all don't have the um, ColourPop No Filter Concealer, you should get it because I actually like it a lot better than the Tarte Shape Tape. So. Now with this concealer, uh, I don't need concealer anyway. Um, I don't wear it every day in my makeup routine. I wear it on the days where I'm going to maybe dress up a little bit more, um, whatever. But with the Tarte Shape Tape, I feel like I have to be doing this a lot to the applicator to get, well, apply more product. But with this one, I just, as you see, I didn't, you know, I only reapplied it a little bit when I put some more, like right here, for my redness. 
um, but other than that, um, I really like it. And I feel like the color selection was a lot better when choosing the shade for me. Together forever, you and I. So, what I do for me, um, for my eyelids, I don't set with my. Cody Airspun powder. What I do is, of course, I'll lightly go over my eyelids. I set them, sometimes I don't set them when I actually put like bright colored eyeshadows on. With more neutral, what I'll do is my Wet n Wild contouring palette, the I don't know the just the lighter side that's what I will set my eyelids with and that's it this is just a BH cosmetics brush I don't know which one it is but I really want to look into getting another one because this is actually my favorite brush from BH cosmetics I'm gonna go with the neutral eye today. Top it off with the wing liner. Sometimes it sounds crazy, but when I'm not so focused on making my makeup perfect, It comes out the best. I'm using my Jesse James palette. I want them to restock just so I can buy another one and really not use that one. I'm just putting a shimmery shade called here kitty kitty in the palette on top of my lid I'm not gonna put anything on my brow bone just because I want my brow bone to be matte there is a little brush that comes in this palette but I don't use it while I let my mascara 
dry. I'm gonna get an e.l.f. stippling brush and use my LA Colors contouring palette. What I've been doing is doing a lot of color from here to here. And then I get this Morphe R4 brush. And then I just literally buff that out with no additional product. I blend that a lot as you can see. I'm gonna use my favorite highlight, the Anastasia Amrezy palette. I had to put on a Migos radio. The lashes I'm gonna be wearing are from Azeredo Lashes. These are in the style doll. My lashes are on. I'm just trying to figure out what lip I wanna use. I chose little, what is it, Lil Pump from ColourPop. I'm gonna top it off with Maybelline's uh, Matte Purely Nude. I might top it off with a gloss. One of my favorites is this one from NYX. This is the Mega Shine Gloss. This is in the color Nude Pink. But I'll put that in my little purse just in case. Okay guys, so I took a little bit extra with my hair and getting ready. So I was going to um, vlog all of that, but I was taking way too long and I got to get to work. Um, but I hope you all have a super amazing day and god bless you all i love you all and i will talk to you later oh by the way real quick this shirt is it ties like up here it is from kohl's it is the jennifer lopez line um i'm just wearing a plain black choker i think i got it from amazon i'm just wearing my hair half up uh, half down I curled it with a curling wand and I'm just wearing uh, some uh, black jeggings the shirts like very flowy as you can see but yeah that's just my look today so again I love you all catch you later I had on shades yesterday so I don't really want to put on shades today because I feel like you couldn't well I didn't have eye makeup on yesterday, so that's why I had my shades on during the video. But today I have eye makeup on and 
will wear no glasses. I'm leaving work. Okay, so somebody told me something earlier today. And I can't even like talk. Like I just feel like if you don't know about a situation from the actual person themselves as far as the person who the situation is about if I've never seen you in my life if I don't know who you are just because you know of me doesn't mean you get to talk about a situation I just have no words I have no words I I'm definitely not going to go into detail about what was said but it was this particular person said something about somebody that was close to me long story short I just told her if you don't know what you're talking about, then be quiet. And mind you, this happened when... Yeah, I'm not going to get into it. But traffic, like, fucking annoys me sometimes. I think it's because people don't even know how to drive. I have a bag of Hot Cheetos right here, and I totally am, like tempted to eat it but my steering wheel cover as you can see it's right here um i don't even want to get anything on it i don't like eating in my car to be honest like and i have a little spray let me show you guys well i'll show you guys um right now when i pull up to my house but i'm gonna cut this footage short i need to make a very important phone call so i will see you guys in a bit okay so i said that i would show you guys like what i have in my car so hold on okay so for starters i have this uh it's just a regular pink bow um i have it on here like that um of course i have like they're like sunshades and they're pink and then I have my it's my key fob well you can see it better in this lighting it's pink and then I just have my UNC Tar Heels I have a little pink flip-flop I have my Furious 7 keychain that I got at the midnight premiere when I went to go see it. And then this just uh, New York Big Apple uh, little keychain. This steering wheel cover, I got it on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. And it was like no more than 15 bucks. And I've had it for about a year now and it's great. I just regularly maintain it and clean it just with interior wipes like for the car. And then right here on my little side, I do have my eyeglass case, but I just have some black sunnies and I have a lotion that I just have on the side and some more black shades and then I have this that it's just from Bath and Body Works it's mahogany teak wood it honestly smells I had to smell it it smells super good my mom says that it smells like guys cologne but I honestly think that guys cologne smells a lot better 
than girls uh, perfume. That's just in my opinion, but yeah. Morphe Me subscription greets you at the door when you get home. So, there's three brushes. I think I'm most excited about this fan brush just because I needed a new one. <laughs> and then this one just looks like a blending brush for the eyes. So yeah, I will leave my code below and it gets you a free brush when you sign up for the subscription to Morphe Me by Life Lamb. So all this glow is natural all day glow. <laughs> Uh, I'm drinking my favorite drink of life. This is green tea with peach and boba from the Panda Tea Bar. Uh, Panda Express, I actually didn't know this um, until one of my friends told me that there's only one tea bar location at the Panda Expresses in any city where they're located. Like, in other words, there can't be tea bars at all of the locations it's only one in the particular city wherever they're located uh, so for instance the panda express in the northeast of el paso is the only panda express in el paso that has a tea bar so shout out to them that's my favorite one so this is the closest one to me so also i filmed my morphe me earlier and i was getting a call so i had to hurry up and and cut my video short but um, let me go through what the brushes are actually. I don't know if y'all can see, but Fast and the Furious, well, Furious 7 is on. So, okay, so this is the card that it comes with. It says Morphe Me, Happily Ever After. Mm, nom, 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 nom. By the way, keep watching. That man right there, Paul Walker. That's my husband, y'all. Okay, so it gives you a description of basically what they are. The first one is the R35 Deluxe Blender. I knew it was a blending brush. Then the R1 Deluxe Pointed Powder Brush. And the Deluxe Highlight Fan. So let me open them real quick. So, this brush right here is the Morphe, what is this, an R1 brush, so that's just what it looks like, and it's super fluffy, uh-huh, this is the Deluxe Blending Brush, and just like this super fluffy as well this is the R what is it R35 that one right there and the Morphe R12 is going to be this one right here it's super soft and super fluffy it has a lot of bristles um, you can tell like that which is super good so I'm super excited to use this one. And that's when he spotted those people taking a walk and he went ballistic. And then he ran, <laughs> runs track from that side all the way over here. For <laughs> okay, so those were the brushes that I got uh, in the mail today. And they're my monthly Morphe Me subscription. I will leave a link below if you want to go ahead and purchase... Well, if you want to subscribe to the monthly subscription, it actually will go ahead and give you a free brush amongst the three that you will get. So I think that's really cool. And yeah, if you want to check it out, go ahead and use my link. You'll get that free additional brush. And yeah, I'm going to go finish watching Furious 7, even though I've seen it a million times, but for those of you who didn't know, Paul Walker is, he was my husband, so I'm a widow, so just letting y'all know. If you didn't know, now you know, but I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Oh.
Smack up. Keep an eye on him. I'm gonna um to your whole weather spring.